Pulling in, GH. First race in six months. There we go. Ew. Uh, I don't know if he's ready. <laughs> But the track was like super gnarly though. They were supposed to start at, what was it, 9.15 and they started, the first moto went off at like. What got me into motorsports for sure is Monster Jam. Um, when I was little, I used to play with all the little toys. I always wanted to go to the, to the events at A1 with my dad. My favorite monster truck driver is uh, Grave Digger for sure. I think I just liked his truck and he always do the crazy flips and stuff. So yeah, they, they can do the these backflips and crazy, crazy things. I can't, I can't wait to go this year. All right, I woke up at um, 4.50 in the morning, super early. Oh God, I took a shower. <laughs> I thought the day went pretty well. I think I can do better. I think I need to do more, tra more training off the bike and on the bike, longer motos. I just feel like, um, she hardly get away from me. <laughs> I went off in the pro practice instead of uh, the schoolboy one. I don't know what I was doing, but uh, it started like that. I had back-to-back -back races. My race was eight and ten, so I pull off, went to the gate. That was tough for sure. My dad and Luke had uh, towels and water and everything, just getting me all ready for the next race. So that was pretty tough. Schoolboy was combined with the 250s and the 125s. But at the first turn, I was eating so much roost and rocks. Was, I got a um, busted finger and stuff, but it was it was good to you know eat some roost though. I was battling with Caden Gonzalez. Shout out to him. Yeah, we were we battled basically all the races because I don't know we were in the same class and about the same skill level. I placed seven. And then like ninth and 125 open, just because I crashed in the first uh, moto. I was running the last moto and um, going down Mini Talladega. They made this new section before the rollers, before the finish line section. I got I was I swapped in the whoops and flew off the track. I stay on the bike. I didn't I didn't get across the finish. They, I, I guess the transponder counted, but yeah, as the, day, as the day went on, my results got better. I think it was just because of, you know, getting more race time and getting more comfortable, probably, so. Yeah, so I've been training over a month, and I feel basically back to normal on the bike, like health-wise. Overall, I think my uh, day went pretty well. Uh, I, I'll give it a 8 out of 10. Good for my first race back, but I still think I can there's, do better and there's room for some improvement. I mean, I like racing better than anything, so it was an awesome day. Our first day of racing in out at uh, Glen Helen, ran the uh, 125 Open and 250 Schoolboy. Yeah, it was a tough, two tough classes for Hudson, and um, I was really impressed with overall, like how he rode, how he, his conditioning, um, you know, his nerves, everything. You know, this was his first race in six months, and. Um, um, it was really good to see him out there. Like um, when he lined up for, Mot for uh, Moto One, um, my heart was racing, and you know I even welled up a little bit. Like I was like, <laughs> I was a little, I was nervous, but I was excited. And and then when when they got ready to drop the gate and the bikes are revved up and everything's going crazy, it's like um, as a dad, you just don't, you can't really explain the feeling that you have because you're fired up because you want your son to to win and kick ass, but then you're scared to death because it's your son, you know, so you don't really know how to act. Then we went out for Moto One and he got a decent start, I thought. I thought he got a really, really, it was a good start. Um, he was probably fourth, fifth in the pack coming into Talladega in the first turn. Then he bobbled in the left-hander before the big hill and lost like five or six spots right there. So he ended up seventh overall in Moto One, and he also had, he went down in Moto One too. So we were pretty pumped with that. I think there was um, 27 kids, 26 kids in that race. Um, so he did well, and then uh, we regrouped um, right away because he was, um, unfortunately, the way the race is laid out, he was 
in Moto 5, or I mean, excuse me, Moto 8, and then he had to go turn around and go right back to Moto uh, Race 10. So we lined up for Schoolboy 2 and um, got a pretty good start again, um, although the 250s pulled on him pretty good down the first straight, you know. And, um, but he battled and hung in there. He, we, he, we, he kept wanting to take the um, inside uh, gate, so him and Luke, um, you know, were taking the inside. They were always to the right of the doghouse all, all day long. And um, so he <clears throat> battled his way in and then he pushed his way through, kind of pushed his way through into Talladega. And, and, he, and then he was back in, you know, running fifth or sixth, maybe even third, fourth, somewhere in the, I, he was in the front pack. And, um, and he kind of faded a little bit. Um, I think he just was tight, you know, he's a little nervous. But um, um, he ended up uh, eighth overall. We had a nice time and had a little grub and um, got ready for the next round. And <clears throat> so we went out for 125 open um, and Hudson had a, the worst start out of all, out of all of his races that day was in that, that race. And um, he battled back and um, ended up um, fourth in that race. So, um, anyways, he had a good day overall, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like, um, we can't complain. We came out of there healthy. You know, like the bike ran good, all of our new setups. Um, Dave Schmidt gave us a new suspension sh uh, setup um, that we tried on Saturday, and Hudson loved it, and it worked really good on Sunday too, so we were pumped about that. Um, and just overall, it was just a really, really good to be back at the races, you know, and back out there. Um, so I was pumped with that.